when you're asking questions, you're building a rapport because you've, you, you're coming across as caring for the client. So you have to be a little bit careful about how you throw these questions out. And what's going to happen, I think, up front is people are going to start asking these questions and it's, gonna, it's not going to be coming out naturally. So it's maybe important to role play with another person. Like all these people that you see that come to the training sessions on a regular basis, maybe you guys should be hooking up with one another and doing some role playing with one another and, and making those phone calls. Because if you, can, if you can work with another realtor, the realtor is going to be hard on you. If you can manage to convince that realtor to use you as a client, then you'll have a breeze with the, with the public. Like it won't be a problem at all. So role playing is important. And what's going to happen is it's going to start slipping off your tongue more naturally and a little easier. Because you can come across as real aggressive by asking these questions as well if you don't ask them in the right order, for example. And there was a, there was a guy named Jason Scott, the recent Richard Robbins one day program I went to here in, in Calgary. This Jason Scott guy says, he's, the, and what stuck with me anyways was the one question that he asked up front was, what are you looking for in a home? And it was a really good question to me because it's really broad and wide open. And, uh, and people are going to probably open up, well, you know what, I need three bedrooms. Really what's most important to me is a yard, but I got to have a garage. And, you know, so they'll, they'll start spilling the beans. They'll tell you where they want to be. It's, it's a pretty open question. So, and I think it's one of the ones that might break the ice a little bit and, and, and make it a little bit more of a comfortable transition rather than saying where you want to move to, when do you want to move? Why do you want to move? You know, have you talked to a mortgage broker? Are you working with an agent? Some of those might see, seem a little bit aggressive and self-centered. So take everything with a grain of salt that I tell you as well. Like, you know, you might like some of the questions. You might not like some of the questions. A lot of the trainers will say you need to ask them all. But like, for example, yesterday I had a call. I asked the guy two questions and he just rambled for like 10 minutes. So I, I didn't have to go through all the questions. He already answered them for me. So you know, everybody seems to have a kind of a set way that you need to do things. And I'm a firm believer that, you know, you need to do what's really right for yourselves. Take some of it, like different personalities, diff you know, can handle doing different things. So do what you're comfortable with, but essentially follow that, follow that concept of qualifying the people by asking them questions. You're finding out whether or not they're motivated and you're building a rapport with them. They're, they're starting to like you because... You know, the last thing they want to hear is say, well, you know, I'm Tom Sherry and I'm a fantastic agent and I think you guys should be working with me and this is what I do and I'm a top producer at CIR and on and on and on. It's, it just doesn't work like that. So one of the things that I had to learn and the toughest thing I think that I had to learn as a salesperson was shut up and ask questions. Literally, like, you know, I, I, you know I'm, I'm a talker and I, I could sit there and talk for days. So I have to stop myself and think. That's one of the toughest things that I that I deal with as a, as a salesman truly is just stopping for a minute and asking questions and listening properly because I always want to ramble. So important stuff.